Welcome back to another Stephen Casey video. Today we're gonna go over the, the I, oh, okay, wait. We're on the road to 200,000 subscribers also. I don't even know if I've hit it yet, but we're on the road to 200,000 subscribers. If you have not hit the subscribe button, hit the subscribe button. We're, we're trying to beat Sharp. I also am giving away some golf clubs and stuff and some good, good apparel, so. Um, if we beat Sharf, hey, you it, you know, you can get whatever you want, but also stop like on the video It helps the algorithm and leave a comment of what you think about college because it's an interesting topic But when I dropped out I had a plan, but I really didn't um, I just kind of was chasing a dream a lot of people don't even know that I went to college that I dropped out or what I did which dropping out of college I don't recommend it to anybody unless you have like a, a solid like you're making money already and you like the, you're you're I don't know how to explain it. If you get college for free or you're eager on a scholarship or something, then I recommend it. But if you have like another income coming in that is a decent amount that you know you can build up, then, then that's when you can think about it. That's kind of what happened with me. But it was 2019. I was doing YouTube with Garrett and Matt. We started popping a little bit. We were just doing GM golf. I went to Kansas Christian Community College, two years to be exact. I played soccer the first, soccer the second. And then going to the third year, the summer, Bro5 popped up, which was a group channel. So I dropped out of college for Bro5. Bro5 lasted like two months i think it ended in october so october came around just dropped out of college and bro five fell apart i had no youtube channel i had no income i literally was just sitting there with absolutely nothing which i dropped out right before my associates i already missed soccer i missed everything i missed all the things that i was supposed to do so it, it was just weird so i dropped out of college for that for bro five bro five ends and i'm just sitting there twiddling my thumbs with no income and i had nothing bone dry during the break um, Garrett got me into told me I should start my own YouTube channel and honestly I did not I was I didn't want to go back into social media like it was not part of my plan I didn't I, I was thinking all right I just go back to school the next semester and get back to work and finish it but I gave it a little time I just literally took two months off of everything I didn't do a single thing no YouTube no no nothing and I started my YouTube channel and it had like 10,000 subscribers before I even uh, made a post, which was in like October, November, no, maybe December. I don't remember the exact date. I was back in YouTube December. I started full time three times a week and I decided I was going to take another semester off and focus on my own YouTube channel and see where it leads me. Taking the second semester off, it was basically I couldn't get back into soccer. I literally was risking everything because it was going to put me a year back in school and like I, it just, it was, it was literally all or nothing. So first semester made no money second semester going into so that first four months i literally was not i was breaking even i literally wasn't making any money i mean it was a struggle just knowing i dropped out of college i was making for a whole nine months i made no money if anything i was i was burning more than i was making Zeus, can you stop running around the mindset of where i was at was i was just like i screwed up like this is bad this is really bad because i didn't know if any i was gonna ever make money if I was gonna ever do this, and so this is where it starts getting brighter. We went to Purcell Farms. I had like 20,000, 30,000 subscribers. Leading into that, I was just full sending it. Like no real big plan. I knew YouTube could pay, but who knew? I went into Purcell Farms, which after like 10 months, I finally started making money on the positive side. And then basically going into that summer, my YouTube channel kind of just blew up. Going that summer, I got 100,000 subscribers, a ton of views right there. Everything was worth it. Those two months allowed me to be like, all right, I can do this. I can literally do this full time. I don't need another job. Hey, Molly. Thank you. Sit. Sit. Well, anyways, the air, the air turned on, so I had to move position. So now the background has changed just a little bit. But um, where was I? <laughs> where was I at? Oh, the summer. So the summer is what really, like, I, I like, like again, I went a whole year with doing full YouTube full time, and I made no money, which was, <laughs> let me tell you, it's it's one of the scariest things in your life. I don't know, I don't know how to describe it. It's just you're, you start your own business and it failed. It's basically kind of where I was at. And so going to that the summer is um, when views started going up. It was all because of you guys, views, subscribers, like literally the whole nine yards. In those three months, it, it literally gave me the opportunity to go another full year like if, of doing whatever I want. I could try YouTube, try this, try whatever, and see what happened. So going into that summer as well, another big thing happened was Good Good, which was a massive, huge thing. So Bro5 ended that last summer 
in the fall, you could say, and a good, good started. We started talking about it at the beginning of the summer. So that next summer is when literally everything started going straight to the moon. The whole squad moved down to Dallas. I bought my car. We moved into the good, good house. I put enough money away, like I said, to where I could start building. That's where I'm at, the horse track. I could start building the horse track. Two years since I've dropped out. I'm an owner in good, good. I'm starting to build the horse track. I have my dream car. We live in our house in Dallas. So it, it, it like it's so weird thinking that one time, if I would have just decided, you know what, I need to go back to this college and see if this will work. I literally would have been working a nine to five for the rest of my life. And with the decision I made and sticking to it, like I never thought, I mean, everything you get, everything that I have is because of you guys. And I just never thought this would, I would have this opportunity looking at, I'm never gonna have to work another day of my life because I, this is my dream. Like I work every day, but this is my dream, like YouTube and it's fully, like I can make a, I make a full time living. I make it, everything is just perfect. But that first year, if I wouldn't have stuck through it and went back to college, I would, literally would have been screwed. Not screwed. I just would have been back in college. I would have graduated this year. So, so yeah. Anyway, that's kind of the story of what uh, I dropped. I never told it. I don't know. I just want to tell you guys. That was a weird, I don't, we changed scenery like two times, but Basically, like I said, if you're gonna drop out of college, you gotta have, uh, what I did, I did have a plan, but there was not for sure money or anything, which was not good. Make sure, you, if you're gonna drop out of college and pursue one of your business or something, I say do it, because if I would've never, I would, like I said, I'd be working a nine to five for the rest of my life. But if you, ha if you have a dream, it is good to chase it, but you gotta have, I didn't have a backup plan, so I can't say, it. I literally had no plans. I literally just went for it. Another thing that I, that I thought of that I should've probably done, what I should've done is I should've took classes while I was doing YouTube, even though I really didn't have the time. It's a full, YouTube is literally a full-time job, but I should've took classes while I was slowly transitioned out of college, just in case like anything happened. But then again, if I wouldn't have taken that risk and had no other options, this would not have happened. None of this would have happened. Like who knows where I'd be, like I said. So just if you like, if you have a business that you're doing or some other plan that you wanna try, I say try it because at the end of the day, you get one shot at it and I took my one shot and if that wouldn't have worked out, I would have been, once again, I don't know where I would have been, but like everything that I thought was gonna fail is made a success. I also bought Zeus. <laughs> Anyways, that that was pretty much it. I, 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 Peric, I feel like Peric did kind of the same video of this. I haven't even watched it. He, I actually did watch it like three years ago before I knew Alex uh, from the Guggen Squad and literally the same thing. We, his Guggen Squad is my good good. It's literally just like the same exact deal and I don't know. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I might talk a little more tomorrow, but as of now, that's that's pretty much the story. I took a I took a massive risk and it ended up paying off. And I appreciate all your guys' support. Good Good is literally killing it. My YouTube channel, once again, doing really good. And it's all because of you guys. All right, the dog. There's a car coming. I gotta get this dog. Yeah, run, run, run.